Hi ladies, right, this is a video response for Irene, Seriously Scrapping's Birthday Challenge. Um, I have decided in my infinite wisdom to make her a name tag plate thing, whatever. Um, the reason being, um, if I did an album, because I'm such an amazing crafter, I'm bound to win and then she'd have to send all them goodies all the way to England and it'd cost her like a million dollars for postage. So I thought I'd give all other ladies a chance and not do an album. And, um, <laughs> I'm only kidding. Um, I'm quite a slow crafter. So if I'd have done an album, um, she wouldn't have got it till Christmas. <laughs> so she's got this instead. Um... It's not too bad. It's meant to be vintage. I don't know if you can see. Um, I did a name, Irene, and then I put seriously scrapping, which um, has gone a little bit wrong because I glossy accented it and I don't know if it's drawn the pen out or what, but if you stand back a bit like that, you can't really tell. It's not prize winning, is it that? But um, So yeah, anyway, I've started off with a tag board. Um, I think it's like seven and a half by seven and a half. It's just over six by six. It's just a piece that I had left over. And I covered it, if you can see, with the Madame Perrault paper. Um, and it's the one with like the typewriter keys on. I think that's the same one Fiona Jennings has just used recently on a, on that um, vin lovely vintage tag she did with the um, pleated skirt. It's the same one. And then I, I printed out this lady off the internet, I think her name's Lily. So that's why we've got that Lily. It ain't really. <laughs> it's just a coincidence that there's a Lily bud there. Um, yeah, Lily, I think she's like some actress or something. She's on loads of websites and Pinterest and what have you. Um, and I just coloured it, I just printed her out black and white and I stuck her on with a bit of watered down PVA and then just put a little bit of watered down PVA over the top. Before I did that, I just coloured her flowers in with a purple crayon. Well, like a lilac coloured crayon. Because um, I don't have any Copex markers or any fancy stuff. So I nicked one of Alexa's crayons. And then I just um, put some... Let's see if you can make it glitter. Mm. Um, a bit like stickles, but cheaper glitter glue type stuff in the flowers in her hair and then I use these flowers uh, these are like uh, they're not silk flowers you know artificial and they were on a big long trail with like a can I think it was originally a candle ring it's got like a candle ring and then it like a big long trail of them and I picked it up from a charity shop somewhere for like 25p um, and so I've cut that up and used them and I think they're really nice there's a lily there look and it's purple because I know Irene likes purple. And then there's bits of roses and what have you and what have you. And I've just like put stickles on them all. Except it's not stickles. I think it's like Dovecraft glitter glue or something. And then she's got a little piece of my, because it's a birthday, I've given her a little piece of my bridal pleat that come off my dress. Off my very own wedding dress. And these little pink butterflies, I really didn't want to part with them. It's only because it's a birthday. Betsy Doodle's just given me those. Um, she's just sent them me. And they're really, really pretty. And I didn't want to part with them, but they just looked so nice. And the, that um, big butterfly there has actually got like a crocodile clip on the back, but I've just glued it on. Just fan-shaped some bit of gathered lace, just to fill that corner up really, because it looked a bit bare. But I didn't want to just put lace all the way around, like a big poofy poofy mess, so that's what I've done. I've put some of this woolly trim at the bottom that I really like, and then that crochet and stuff there is um, vintage, it's very very old. So there you go Irene, proper old English vintage trim that is, and so is the um, crocheted doily behind that flower. I think that flower's come from... Koala Crafts, I think, yeah. I just added um, another layer behind it and then obviously the... Let's see if I can show you. Where am I? There, the doilet. And then the little angel stick pin that I made the other day, I decided to put that on. So you can either leave it on or take it off, whatever you want. It's not glued, it's just stuck there. 
and then um, I just put some cut up some diamante bling and put that around the picture to frame it a bit so there you go that's what I've done and that's going in the post tomorrow and the little tag that I've put a name on as well is from the Madame Perot range from the um, you can get like a pack with there it is like a pack with loads of tags in so it's come from there um, I were a bit disappointed with the lettering. I don't have any die cuts and I did cut some, print some out on the internet, um, various type faces and then they were all too big and I got really, and then when I cut them out I thought well cut out paper's going to look rubbish on there. So I just thought I'd do it freehand and it's not come out brilliantly but never mind. So you can either have it stood up like that Irene or when you get it you could always attach some lace on the back and you know, like a string of lace and hang it on the wall, whatever you want to do with it. So there you go. That's my uh, little thing for Irene's birthday challenge. So, yeah. I think my favourite bit is probably that purple lily. I really like lilies. Um, so, yeah. So there you go. Right, thanks for watching. Um... I hope you like it, Irene. I've done my best. And um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now, ladies.